What's up guys? My name is Andreas. I'm a photographer and filmmaker from Bergen, Norway. Two of my biggest passions in life are photography and skydiving. And ever since I did my first jump in 2013, I've been dying to combine the two. The problem is that you're not just allowed to grab your camera and jump out of the plane. First, you have to accumulate over 200 jumps. And that can go pretty fast or pretty slow, depending on how much time you put into it and how big your wallet is. It's huge! So you got your required jumps, you got your camera, Let's go. Not so fast. When you're skydiving, there can be absolutely no loose items anywhere. So just forget about holding the camera in your hands, looking through the viewfinder and getting that sweet composition you've trained years to get with your camera. You know what? Just forget your big fancy camera altogether. Usually you just start with every photographer's dream, the GoPro. And it has to be mounted on your helmet with a snag free mount. So no lines from the parachute can wrap around it and cause dangerous situations. Check, check, and check. Ready to create content. There's just one more little thing. Skydiving and flying your body is really hard. So now you have to spend a lot of time learning how to fly your body around your head so that what you want in the frame actually stays in frame. My point of all this is to give you guys a little quick inside look in one of the most exciting photography genres out there and that's aerial and skydiving photography. Not too long ago, I had the pleasure of meeting one of the guys who was really on top of this game, and that's Optimus Prime. And that's Juan Meyer. Juan Meyer is an Argentinian photographer who has over 20 years experience in the air, has over 15,000 skydives. And when you get to that point, you get to be a part of the team that films Mission Impossible. Without further ado, please enjoy my little conversation with Juan Meyer. Yeah, it's a handmade helmet, specially made for, for my head. You cannot buy that helmet in the, in the store. Uh, it's protecting my neck as well, and uh, it's giving me the freedom to put different cameras as well. And my camera helmet doesn't look like a very clean, but I'm changing stuff all the time, a lot of tape everywhere and holes. And it's another part that I really like, working on my helmet, spending hours. The maximum I shoot on the helmet was 200, but normally I'm shooting with 85 or 50, or maybe 35, mm. but not lower than that. But I prefer the zoom lens. Most of the skydivers are shooting wide, so people saw it already. Mm. So I'm trying all the time to do something different. So as a photographer myself, I get really curious when yeah. I look at this helmet. Can you explain to me what type of cameras you have and what they're for and what kind of shots they all uh, give you? One photo camera, which is this one, and three video cameras. Photo camera with the 85 millimeters lens. And the video cameras, basically this one is a backup camera. Uh, I'm zooming in a little bit. This is the one I'm testing. It's a small camera. Yeah, what kind is that? Actual DJI. Oh Action yeah. Action Uh huh. Yeah. I'm testing it. I'm still trying different stuff. Mm. Yeah. I'm happy with it. And this is the main one for the videos, but with a long lens. It's a 90 millimeters lens. Yeah. And this one in particular, I'm shooting with a 180 frames per second. Mm. So I'm getting a lot of details with slow motion. Do you set the focus manually? Yes, I have to. Isn't it hard to like set the focus manually when you're filming in the it air? It is. I'm doing it on the ground and trying in the sky to have the same yeah. distance, you know? Yeah, I see. But to, to give you an idea, uh, to calibrate this with all the cameras, it's taking me maybe two hours. Really? Yeah. So this is why I don't like when the people scrub my helmet from here. I said, no, no, don't touch it because yeah. <laughs> I had to. Ah, yeah. that's two hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My name is Juan Mayer, I'm doing photography and skydiving. How long have you been skydiving? Well, I have been jumping a lot, around 22 years. In that time, how many jumps have you done approximately? Uh, a little bit more than 15,000, but I still have that passion, for, especially for photography, you know, and combined with uh, skydiving is something I really like. Once I started skydiving, I felt like a, I, I found a different world, you know? So I started skydiving like a full time and uh, trying to combine the, the two passions. So do you, do you take it off and make sure that all the cameras are on and, and stuff before you exit the plane or what, how does before it work? Before I exit the plane, like a two or three minutes, I close my eyes and start thinking what I will shoot. And after, after that, I started checking all the cameras that are okay, the batteries and everything okay. I know already because of many times doing it, what is everything and the noises and different kind of stuff. So I'm putting my helmet on and start doing my stuff. So what does it take to become a skydiving photographer? It takes time, uh, a lot of time, and money as well, you know, and a lot of effort, but if you like it, you're going for it. 
This is why sometimes the people is asking me how long it took you to do this or that, and I say, well, just keep doing it and show every day and uh, you will get there. Shoot a lot on the ground. This is the place where you will really know your camera. Many things I'm using in the sky, I learned doing any other projects that have nothing to do with skydiving, you know? Sometimes wedding photography, I don't like it, but <laughs> I'm doing it. We have to ask you about the movie work you've done, so Mission Impossible. Yeah, I was part of the skydiving team. I didn't shoot the last part, but I was for a few months working for them. It was something amazing, yeah. It's yeah. a completely different world, and but I learned a lot. I met a lot of passion videographers as well. They, they really know what to do it how to do it. Uh, it was challenging, it was different, but was definitely some highlights of my career as a photographer or videographer. Yeah. Good luck with future projects. Thank you so it's, much. Uh, it's, you take impressive, really impressive stuff and it's, uh, it's been cool to follow you online. Thank you, for a thank long time. you and thank you so much for taking you guys the time to do this. I really appreciate it. Nice. Because normally the people is not showing what we are yeah, doing. because you're the invisible photographer, yeah, right? You yeah, make yeah. the most amazing stuff in the sky and nobody yeah. sees you besides the photos you yeah, post, yeah. but the selfies you post on Instagram, right? <laughs> yeah. and it's, that's the photographer's curse, you know? Yeah. Now we photographers have to like push ourselves out because yeah. uh, the client doesn't want to see us in their photos. No, 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 never. <laughs> Which is okay, but it's good to do this stuff sometimes. It's why I really appreciate it, to yeah. motivate and other people to do it as well, you know? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Juan, good luck. Nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, thank you, man. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.